Oh. I don't want to pause this right here already, but name me a cooler fucking intro to a console. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Obviously, as you guys would have seen over here, we do a lot of content surrounding PSO. And today, shock horror is no different. What I've got for you guys today is a little video that I found that I didn't even realize was online. And that is the official PSO, so the official Fantasy Star Online game trailer for the Sega Dreamcast. Now, this video does come courtesy of another creator known as Kyreek PSO. Uh, their channel will be linked in the description. So do feel free to go and take a look at the original source content, leave a like, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. Without further ado, though, we are going to cast our minds and our bodies back to an easier time, a simpler time, and we're going to enjoy the Sega Dreamcast official PSO game trailer. Let's go. So full disclosure, before we actually start this trailer, I did play on the Dreamcast many years ago, uh, mainly version one, but I've spent a lot of time recently playing on the Affinia Blueburst server. So my kind of memory and nostalgia is kind of like a mishmash of everything. So there's gonna be a lot of things in here which will seem super familiar, I'm sure, and a lot of things will be like, wow, okay, that's different, but that's enough of me rambling, let's get into it. Oh, I don't want to pause this right here already, but name me a cooler fucking intro to a console. And also name me a more nostalgic intro to a console. That'll be the last time I pause it for a while, I promise. I'm impressed already. I haven't even started yet. I'm impressed. I also apologize for the quality. This is, I mean, we're throwing it back now a good few years. So this is the best quality that is provided, of course, but you can just about make out what's, what's going on. Got that music. Oh, the background music sensational. So it definitely, it might not seem it now, but back then the character creation, this was like, wait a minute, I can create my own character. Okay, then, this might just be the best game I've ever played. Obviously, by today's standards, like, six to ten headgears, a few colours. It's it's not really groundbreaking, but yeah, back then, that was, like, insane. You could make some wacky characters as well. Really wacky characters. Of course, I'm trying not to pause this too much, so I do apologise. Look at the way the palettes are all laid out as well. <coughs> you know, looking back at it now, like even the, the palettes, the display for the HP, everything is just like totally, totally different. A lot more like rough around the edges. To be fair, version one, like although it was wicked to play, it was very, very rough around the edges. Um, but this is just, I mean, th there was no better feeling than getting a group of your buddies to run through, I mean, I can't tell you the amount of times we ran through Forest. Forest was just like the place to go. Um, but this is just wicked to look at. It's so hard to tell what the visuals actually look like because of the, the quality of the video. you got to think as well, like going back to trying to sort of place your mind back in the time of when this was released. There wasn't really that many dungeon crawlers. I mean, you could argue that perhaps Diablo was probably the only real name, maybe Ultima, which was more MMO sort of themed-ish. But this was revolutionary for its time. Like, it was insane. So it's really, really cool to see this depicted, you know, considering everyone would probably be watching this, you know, whether you were sat on the sofa or... And maybe you saw it in a magazine. You know, people used to go out and buy magazines back then and you know, read through the upcoming releases. And to see something like this, it was just unheard of. Also, fuck these guys. I can't tell you what... On Dreamcast, when I was playing solo, the amount of time I spent on Derole was just insane. I don't know many other games that can also take you to a title screen like that. Especially when that music hits and just just makes you feel a certain way. I, I I fully, fully understand. This is probably nostalgia speaking at this point, but it's just sensational. 
I really, I, I do like, I kind of wish the main startup screen for Blueburst was essentially the same as this. I feel like that's got such a nice theme to it. So in reflection, quite a short trailer. I didn't want to sort of drag this out too much, but there's not many things that I watch these days that actually just, just make me sit back and are almost lost for words. And I think that might be a reflection on how quickly life goes by anyway, because it doesn't seem that it was that long ago that I was experiencing this game on the original console it came out on. Uh, but especially being where we are now and... Do you know what? Like, I kind of want to just sort of throw a bit of an accolade out there to Finia, you know, and the guys that run the, the private server, the guys and girls over there, because, you know, you really are doing God's work at the moment because that is really, it's just coming together in leaps and bounds. I'm seeing more and more people on the server, more people active, uh, and it's really, really cool to have my childhood game, you know, in a way, a game that sort of defined the person I am today, still alive and thriving today. And I can't thank people enough for that. That's just really cool. So to be able to kind of sort of, I suppose, experience this with you guys and, and, and put, um, put the game under a bit more spotlight it would be really, really cool. But if you did enjoy this sort of content, there's plenty more where this comes from, specifically relating to PSO. So do leave a like, subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you beautiful people in the next one.